but hey, welcome on by, hey, Misfit. I hope y'all had some good times with the Arma, uh, I believe it's, what, uh, Halo role-playing group. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember the exact campaign. Um, I haven't really played too much Arma, so it usually just kind of sit there and vibe whenever I catch y'all playing. Uh, I don't know. Tarkov is kind of the only mill sim uh, I played, and even then, Tarkov is kind of eesh at the moment. But hey, if you don't know me, I am Drecky Ormer. Uh, right now, I'm holding on to a flashlight in my mouth, so let me just kind of blip. Get this. No. No, unlock the item. There we go. But hey, welcome on by. If you don't know me, I am a draconic serpent, a uh, uh, flightless dragon, or simply a worm here on the internet. And on Fridays, I play scary games. We are playing stasis. You have to go up against two scarabs. Ah, uh, that does sound pretty, pretty hard. Uh, since I believe y'all are normal, normal people and not Spartans in the campaign. Uh, so have a, have a, have a fun time with those things. Um, I, th I think we're pretty close to the end of stasis is it, is what it seems like. Um, but I'll go ahead and say content warning for, uh, uh gore, um, unethical science and medical procedures, um, to put it lightly. <laughs> Uh, and basically, uh, war crimes. Very, very awful war crimes. As we've discovered. Um, our character has had some bad news. Um, their, their daughter, uh, 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 is gone, uh, right in front of them. But we still have, uh, their wife that we're trying to get to. Right now, I'm trying to get through this electrical box. That will zap me. Let's see. Yeah, the acid damage glove. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm in the limb regeneration lab. Her arms, legs. One step at a time. How close are you to Ellen? Uh, she's in a storage bay. Two floors up. I'm close. All right, the fact that we keep getting messages from her every, like, bit of progress we get, this is certainly going to feel pretty fucking ominous. Um... Let me through! Alright, what am I missing now? Why is the door... Can I do something else to keep it open? Oh, fuck! Fucking, fucking hybrid jump scare, or in this case, fall scare. We're gonna go ahead and save in case we get got, because this game is not good about uh, checkpoints. I guess we're gonna clog up the uh, gears with some hybrid guts, because that makes sense. Alright, we should be close to Taya. John, I need 
to explain the situation. <laughs> well, well, Miss Hensley. Oh like no! Shit! Along, shit! 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 Oh fuck! Oh fuck! This doesn't work, so we can't do much. We make entries on open how to get access to other functions. System notification failed to complete transmission. Path, fuck you, I ain't goddamn radio, is invalid. Or recipient is currently offline. Um. We get this open. Maintenance pod. Where the fuck is this taking us? Okay, we're currently at the janitorial office. Disposal area? Oh, uh, we got another multi-area puzzle. Hmm, looks like the fungus is in full effect here. Five. What the fuck is saying, Daddy? These creatures are following their base instincts, breeding, eating. The tower, maintenance and repair and solid waste disposal facility is overdue by 9,125 days. Plasma cutter, a hey, yo. Heavy loader. Looks like it was sealed in during construction. We got fungus aliens and now ghosts? Yeah, seems like it. Alright, and a power cell. Nice. Just one power cell, though. Can we... Shit, shit, shit. Can we... Nope. Abstract for... Oh, that's a fucking face. That's like a giant fucking face. Hard bony growth. Hey, yo. Oh, boy. All right. So we got this plasma cutter. Um, let's check the next area to see if there's anything we can grab there. Um, visitor center. What's in the visitor center? What do we got? This is the first boarding announcement for lifeboat 8 through 25. Any passenger. Retinal scanner? Retinal scanner? Fuck your retinal scanner. I got plasma cutter, baby. Mm. Or not. Alright, maybe that doesn't work. Uh, scaffolding? Don't you AO the horrors? <laughs> Gotta find another way out. Maybe I... Pew pew? No? Right. Uh, um... 
Actually, hold on. I think I saw a body in the weird place. Let's see if we can get, like, an eye from one of the corpses and we can use it. Ah. All right. Yeah, see, there, there's like that body right there, right next to us. Let's see if I miss something, or if I can use the plasma cutter on something in the janitor closet. There is that PDA I, I skipped over. I can go ahead and read that while we're there. Seems a bit extra to have that whole cutscene every time. I still don't get what's up with these power pads because I've stood on them a few times and it seems like they charge up, but then nothing happens. See? So, let's see if I can plasma cutter it. Can't see it working nope. like that. Oh, a river. There's a fridge. Wait, can I? Interesting. And I cut the wires. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Can I plasma cut her the fridge? Huh? Looks like I can. Oh. It seems the power pad gave me energy for the laser cutter? I don't know how that works, but okay. Oh, that's just rude. Ah, frozen eye. I guess we got some ice cream. <laughs> All right, let's read these PDAs. <laughs> I'm excited. It's fresh from the fridge. It's nice and cold. <laughs> All right, Jared Winslow. Ah, oh, try real hard not to think any less of Scotty, but. I swear the boy ain't got a care bone in his body. Plus, I bet he don't know what any of these big words he uses mean. It's always hinting that when we're back home, we can be partners in business. Got myself a job on a damn spaceship. So you reckon I'd need any help getting a job? Back before the rapid transport system was running through the Groom Lake, folks used to get around in these really slow transport pods. I found one, stuck behind a pile of storage crates. I've been working on it for maybe a month now. Reckon I can get it working. Scotty played an April Fool's joke on me. Dumped some water on me while I was working on the pod. Accidentally cut him real bad with a wrench. Anyways, I'm gonna play a little joke on him and set his favorite book on fire. Not today. Sometime when he won't expect it. Pod's coming along great. A couple more months, maybe I gotta test it out. My kid brother, Judd, would be so proud. He used to help me work on cars all the time. One time we was fixing the brakes in this old clunker when the jacks broke. I know he's in a better place now, but still, I feel bad. I pray about it every day, and I don't know that God knows I didn't mean to do it. I promise to him that I'm not trying to be so angry anymore. Damn, that's uh fucked up. All finished. I had to get some parts printed with the nanite machine, but I'm sure Stefan didn't mind much. Can't wait to try it out. Guy says the pop won't work. I'll get in trouble for it. Who the hell does he think he is? I made sure they'll work. I ain't stupid. It's getting real hard to breathe and just pray about stuff. People like Scotty. God lets him live for some reason or other. Bless his soul. Bless his heart. Albert noticed some strange mushroom stuff growing all over engineering today. 
Guess we're gonna have to get some cleaning. Good news and bad news. I had to scrub like mama on laundry day, so the gunk just got about gone. Bad news is, it's all over the damn place. Scotty's been real nice since I burned that book of his. Scotty's nicer every day. Bible said he'd change if I was nice to him. Look what happened. A little bit of bread goes a long way in the house of God. Damn, this ain't good. Ship's on a level setting lockdown. Looks like we're gonna get real familiar with one another down here. Folks must have got mighty hungry. Screams are echoing everywhere. Scotty and me are gonna lock down engineering. Shut down the baskets and close the umbilical fridge. Fridge. Get them away from the twins. Judd all over. Swear I mean to. I couldn't get Scotty to shut him and stop making a ruckus. Just wanted him to shut up. I swear I didn't push him too hard. Oh, for God's sakes, he was being so damn loud. Just gets to just gets to where a guy can't take it no more. Thought he was better than me all along. Well, dead now. He's staring at me. Gotta talk him away somewhere. Hey, welcome on by General Custer. Playing some cyberpunk? Nice. We're playing our own little sci-fi game. Oh, this one's more of a horror game. <laughs> this is fucking snussy. <laughs> oh, it's a great emote. I love it. I don't know. Uh, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. Still be going for a while longer. I don't know how long you were streaming, but it's certainly hard work. So... Make sure you take a moment to leave a piss. Take a water. Probably not from the same place you just pissed, but I'm not your keeper. <laughs> Feel free to kick back, relax, and maybe get scared. Probably laugh at me being scared. I had to torture your video card somehow. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty valid. Just shy of four hours. Yeah, four hours is four hours is pretty good. I know I've accidentally gone six to eight hours sometimes. I don't think I'd ever do another, uh, I've done 20, I did a 24 hour stream once for, for a charity thing. I don't think, I don't think I got it in me to do over 24 hours intentionally. Heck, going over eight hours is already bad enough. We are reading the message logs from one of the maintenance janitor peoples. I hear him. He's been laughing, crying, cackling jokes. He won't stop. Can't get him to stop. Folks say I could just fix about anything with a screwdriver. Already fixed Scotty. Already fixed Judd. God wants us to fix folks up when they're broken. Can I fix me? Oof. As long as it was nine hours, you're pl playing your summer car for a whole crowd of two people. <laughs> What's this PDA? Is this going to be Scotty's PDA? Yep. God. Jada, make for a useful business partner, but I can't even suggest to him without him erupting in a fit of rage by getting a ram that that ain't how it done in my family. Does that man honestly expect to get anywhere without once taking help from those more intelligent than he is? Groom Lake's been a pleasure to the board thus far. Much more entertaining than being on Earth. Even my family's private island isn't in this entertaining. Granted, there isn't much left to do now that I... All the indigenous animals have been hunted and killed. Space, however, is infinite. It is though planning an April Fool's joke almost two weeks in advance is a little pathetic, especially when the plan consists of a single prank. Pour water on Jared. Pour one on him. Just a little glass. The consequence? Hulking dumbwit chased me down the corridor with a wrench, slicing a reasonable portion of my forehead open. Now I'm thoroughly convinced that he's a deranged and will be doing some investigation. After agreeing to transfer a sum of money, I convinced Dr. Graham to ob obtain Jared's medical records for me. Jared really is mentally ill. He suffers from outbursts of rage. According to one report, he murdered his brother by crushing him to death with a car. It goes on to note that Jared believes it to be the will of the Lord. Capitalized, just like that. How the hell did he manage to get a position in the most important area of the ship? I'll have to stay on his good side. I'm beginning to miss my father's mansion more with each passing day. Having maids and chefs to cater to me is how I was raised. Be responsible for cleaning up after myself and walking all the way to the mess hall for food remains a challenge. Sometimes I question my own sanity. 
I briefly criticized Jared's hobby of repairing that old transport pod and, ooh, that deranged stare he gave me in return. What did I think I could possibly accomplish by talking to him about it? Unbelievable! He burned my thesaurus! Jared marched towards me, ripped it from my hands, and set it on fire. Then he screamed, April Fools! and sprinted away, waving the burned pages above his head. I can't begin to say how many times I've retyped my entries. They feel... not as good? There's a better word, I swear it. I would kill to get my thesaurus back. How can anyone respect me if I don't sound smart? I give up. I ran into Dr. Green today, and he remarked that I sounded like less of a pretentious asshole. I guess I should talk like an ordinary person from now on. Oh hey, ordinary is a pretty big word. My arms hurt. Hard at work to get all that fungus out of the generators. We did it though. Cleaning is not easy. I feel a sense of accomplishment. I guess Jared isn't all that bad. He apologized to me today for losing his temper so often. And you know what? I apologized in return. I don't remember the last time I did that. Holy shit. Turns out the guy had a bunch of rations tucked away. He shared them with me, even though he's almost out. If I don't starve to death here, I may have to put him in charge of Tanaka Investments Charity, which doesn't exist. Yet. Rations are here. We have just enough food in the freezer to last us. They're far less hungry than the guys manning the twins. I have to say, I'm impressed. I'm not sure how many of those guys had the energy to keep us afloat with so little to eat. Those guys are titans. Engineering is now on total lockdown. You have to keep whatever those things are away from the generators. I don't think we'll ever see the light of day again. At least when I die, it'll be with the only real friend I ever had. Well, Scotty surely certainly took a uh, different turn on their relationship. All right, so we have the eyeball now. Um, so let's go to that heavy loader and power it up. Oh yeah, I don't know, that's not so much the number of people, really. But then again, my, my usual thoughts is like, I... I feel if I stream things that I find interesting or am passionate about, like, it doesn't really matter if there are others present. You know, I'm still having fun. I'm still vibing. And if others care to share their time, so be it. Then again, a lot of my inspiration is stuff like, uh, uh, Let's Players. That's hardly, that was hardly played live most of the time. So let's use the eyeball on the loose panel. Alright, and we put the power cell in there. Alright, now we use the loader. Let's fucking walk around the long way. Um. Ow. Alright, the shaking kind of hurts my eyes. That's certainly one way to get through, uh. Welcome to the Groom Lake Visitor Ball. Center. Kane Corporation trusts that you'll enjoy your stay. Please ensure your personal data tag is updated with your medical history and is functioning correctly. Limited was founded in 2050. Henry Kane was appointed to exercise control over East Asian Pacific debt repayment through mining asset acquisition. Launched in 2100, the tower was 6106 feet long. This massive nuclear fusion powered ship was used extensively as a planetary mining platform. I 15 see. years of atmospheric exposure. Welcome. The tower was rechristened the Groom Lake in 2120 when she left dry dock and began her journey towards the outer planet. Hmm, yes. So it's a repurposed mining vessel. I see.
That's a lot of destroyed lifeboats. All right, we gotta find our wife. We gotta find um, Taya. We gotta fuck up Dr. Malin. Oh, this is some epic fucking music. Without a family, man alone in the world trembles with the cold. Kind of a impromptu little speech, John. Oh shit. Murderer! You really are a roach, Mr. Maragic. John, shoot him! Kill him now! <gasps> oh fuck! I may have pulled the trigger. So to speak, but you and Miss Hensley loaded the gun. Don't try to worm your way out of this, you goddamn monster. Monster? By whose standards do you fucking call me a monster? human standards, you chuckle fart? The morals of men don't apply to gods. Well, then it's time to make this god bleed. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> How did he, why does he have a goddamn force field? Fuck you, dude! Mother of God, he has plot armor! How do we get through it? Mr. Maragic. John, mm. shoot him. Kill him now. <gasps> Alright, she gets clubbed. I may have pulled the trigger, so to speak. But you and Miss Hensley loaded the gun. Don't try to worm your way out of this, you goddamn monster. Monster? By whose standards do you call me a monster? The morals of this. <laughs> ah, shit, he actually is a god. Fuck. Uh, what's this machine do? What if I shoot a laser at machine parts? Get fucked! Security lockdown initiated. Storage device damage and door missing. Fractural femur detected. Scapula Ow. damaged. Seek immediate medical attention. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Uh, did you? Have uh, we got her? I do. She's here. It's I mean, over. I don't know how much longer they're going to survive, because the oxygen is going to run out. I'm sorry, it wasn't supposed to end like this. Waking you was a mistake, John. But I'm happy to have met you. How Jojo killed a god, too? <laughs> I don't understand. Too. What do you mean? Oh shit, is this going to reveal that Taya was the antagonist all along? You woke me. Answer me! We needed a way to transport the research off the Groom Lake. And your wife's bone marrow was a perfect storage device. Search. No! Oh fuck! This is about fucking research! Oh no! Yes. It's about research! Worth billions, John! Billions! So oh, you cost fuck. all of this. You let those things loose. 
No, I'm not that sloppy. The idiots we sent to get your wife's body turned off all the containment protocols. We lost Ellen in all the chaos. That pussy Yuri was on his way oh, to you when Man got involved. <sighs> on his way to get my DNA. It was the only way to locate the data carrier in the ship vest. Old man Kane will be rolling in his grave when I sell his secrets. You're just like the lad. Is that what you think? John, do you love your wife? Well, I love my husband and Kane's security forces murdered him during a protest. Kane Corporation took everything from me and now I will burn them to the ground. You don't have to do this. You don't. To stasis pods, hon. It was never gonna happen. Oh, shit. Autopilot has been engaged. Time to departure. 15 minutes. No way. Um. Come on. Of helping me. Fucking you take you me. with me. You used my family. It's not personal. <laughs> not personal. You bitch. Guilty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get fucked! This vessel has been clear for departure. At least our wife will live. Destination changed. I love you, Ellen. Ah, what a bittersweet ending. That was a pretty good end. I also liked that way to, to solve it. So if you weren't here last time or if you forgot, um, all the security things were reprogrammed to target the identification thing. Um, and that thing I threw at her was the Identificate my identification that got removed um, earlier, and by throwing it on Ellen, all the turrets targeted it and fired. Very good uh, Chekhov's uh, uh, gun. The fact that we've had that in our inventory ever since we had it removed. Spaceship, all right. Wait, was Ellen? She looked extremely aged. Was she also dead? Oh, what the fuck? Bitter end. Oh, come on. You couldn't have allowed, you couldn't have had it, you couldn't have given us a nice, uplifting, triumphant thing. You had to sucker punch us after you already sucker punched us. That's just rude. Hello. This is Drecky of the Post Production. Thank you for watching or listening to this series. Whether it was background noise while you worked, experiencing a game vicariously, or you just like my thoughts and reactions. 
Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion of a similar game if I haven't played it. I stream on Twitch as Drekki Ormer if you wish to see things live and unedited. Regardless, have a great rest of your time zone, and I appreciate the time we shared. Bye!